Off field. Left. What I want. YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here. We another Watch Day Commanders video. And in today's video, I'm coming on here with the video where we're going to be talking about why receiver Jahan Dawson talking about the Washington Commanders culture or lack thereof. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload new videos like this to the channel. Want to roll to 7,000 subscribers? Please help me get there as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Let's get straight into today's video. Check out Juan Gotti TV as I'll be starting to upload on that channel at some point, documenting my in real life journey that I'm about to take upon. That link is also in the description. Now let's talk about Jahan Dawson. So Jahan Dawson was interviewed at his lockers and he was basically asked about what does the Washington Commanders uh, team need to do to finally get over that hump and actually start winning games? And this is obviously going to be happening next year because there is only one more game for this season, um, for this terrible season that we turned in. And he basically said, you know, the culture, we have to want it. We have to want change, right? So that got me started to thinking, like, maybe this culture that Ron Rivera talked about building, maybe it wasn't so good to begin with. Because there's a lot of players that didn't always buy into what Ron Rivera's approach was when you go back to the Morgan Moseses, the, um, you know, Quentin Dunbar wanted, you know, back, back when he first got Quentin Dunbar wanted a contract and we all that extra stuff and countless other players that really wasn't digging Ron Rivera's style. And then you added Eric Bidemi this year where we've already seen a lot of tarnish on his name and how he coaches. So it, this culture probably wasn't as good as we were led on to be, but I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna let you guys hear it from Jahan Dawson's mouth himself. So let's go ahead and pull that up for you. I'm gonna go ahead and play the video right now. You're in between the lines. What do you think this team needs going forward next year to kind of get more wins, get over the hump? Um, I would say as far as players, just a, a sense of culture. Um, you know, just we, we got to have a mindset in here that we we want change. Uh, we we can't we can't just accept this this type of stuff because this, this is really hard on that, a lot of people. Um, and I know a lot of people come from winning backgrounds, uh, so we we got to bring that stuff in here. We we can't accept anything but winning, honestly. Um, and that, that starts with us players, um, no matter who the coaches are. Uh, yeah, it starts with us. Uh, we we got to bring our best foot um, and make sure that we go out every Sunday and, and bring it. When you say culture, is that is that on the players or do, do the coaches feed into that? Um, I, I feel like it, it's everyone, but, you know, it, I feel like the best teams uh, that you see in any sport are player-led. Um, your, your captains, they, they step up, um, and everyone really follows because when, you, when you're surrounded by, by guys who are hungry and want to win, you know, it, it trickles down. Uh, it's a domino effect, so I feel like that, that's where we, we can start. Alrighty, so that was from Jahan Dawson, um, basically talking about the culture. And like I said before, it kind of got me to start thinking about, like, maybe this culture wasn't so good. Like, maybe it's not as good as we thought. You know what I'm saying? Um, these players, some of them, um, like I said before, aren't buying, weren't buying into the thing, and they probably started to really realize that Ron Rivera was what he was saying and what he's trying to coach and preach is falling on deaf ears because results are not showing. Remember, coming into this offseason or when we brought in Eric Bieniemy as the assistant head coach, it felt like Ron Rivera uh, gave him too much power. Remember, John Kahneman put out an a, a article that was like uh, some of the players wished Ron Rivera would take back some of the control. So uh, a lot of this divide or division that has been created has been due to the the hard coaching or the coaching style of Eric Benemy plus the no winning. Again, what I think a lot of people have to realize, a lot of the older fans, I should say, because a lot of the older fans back up back Eric Benemy and says, oh, these players, they need hard coaching. They haven't been good enough to complain or to want to, you know, to say that this is not fair, this is too hard, this is too challenging. I understand where you're coming from when you say that, but 
try you try going out there and being in their shoes and trying to follow what the coaches are saying and the coaches and, and, and players don't perform on game day. So it's kind of like, why am I going out here busting my tail, right? I'm going out here working like a dog during practice and come Sunday, we lose, right? I understand that you have to put in work. I do get that. But it, it, at some point in time, it gets old, especially if it's for players that have been here, right? Like a Terry McClellan, like a John, um, well, you can say John Dawson now because he's going to be going into his third year. John Dawson, uh, Deron Payne, Jonathan Allen, these players that have been here, Cam Curl, they've been here. So Ron Rivera probably is stale to them now. So the culture that was probably once good here has died off. Countless times Ron Rivera has went to the media and spoke too much of what spoke too much, right? About the Eric Bieniemy thing. Yeah, there's players that's coming to my office saying EB, you know, is, is coaching too hard, right? He said things about Chase Young. He he said things that um, Jamin Davis, right? Him and Jack DeRio both did say things about Jamin Davis, right? Uh, who uh, what else? Countless things, bro. Countless things Ron Rivera has done that could cause this this the, the, the division in the locker room, right? Um, what are you going to say to the players at halftime, Ron? Um, I'm nothing. I'm just going to let them talk amongst themselves. I didn't really have nothing to say. Like, come on, bro. Oh, I didn't know we can. I didn't know we could be eliminated, right? Pulling Taylor Heineke, right after that 49. Oh, yeah, after the 49 is lost, right? You benched him, and then you start Carson Wentz. That creates a division in the locker room because people love Taylor Heineke here. The players love to Taylor Heineke here, right? So this culture that Ron Rivera quote unquote changed, I don't know if I'm even willing to say that anymore, y'all. Let me know if I'm tripping. Let me know if y'all feel the same way though. Like the one benefit of the doubt that I was gonna give Ron Rivera when he left, um, and I've said his name so many times in this video, but it's kinda about him, so that's why. Uh, but the, the, the like the kind of ability I was gonna give him for changing the culture, I don't know if I'm willing to give that to him now. It's, same things that was happening under Jay, Jay, Jay Gruen and stuff like that, um, it's happening here. Like, players wanting out, you know, culture not seeming the right way, losing, mediocrity, seven and nine, seven to ten. Then you then you have a season where you just fall off. Like all that has happened here. Same with Jay Gruen. Uh, so it's like, it, did he really change anything here? I don't really know. I don't really think so now that I think about it. I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt, but there's really nothing that he's done differently than the last administration. The draft, I think he arguably probably drafted worse than Jay Gruden. I mean, Jay Gruden was here, what, from 2014 to 2019? Um, 2015, we took Brandon Scherr. 2016, we took... Uh, let me look it up. I, I want to say, was that Jahan Dawson? I think Jahan Dawson was 16. And I think John and Allen was 17. Deron Payne was 18. And Dwayne Haskins was 19. I ain't even look it up yet. I'm going to look it up, though. Let me double check because I think I'm right. That 2016 draft we took, I want to say it was uh, Josh Dawson. Uh, 2016. Um, first round pick. Yeah, it, ha it had to be, if I can remember correctly. Um, in 2019, he took... Dwayne Haskins and he ain't even want Dwayne Haskins. Yeah, see? Look at me, look at me, y'all. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Doing my football. You know what I'm saying? Doing my stuff. So, no. Um, but yeah, he took Dwayne Haskins and he ain't even want Dwayne Haskins, right? So, I can argue and say that he's missed on some, just missed him on more in his drafts than Jay Gruden did. So, it's like, if you combine the losing, the missed picks, the players, and the culture that, quote unquote, didn't build basically. Is there anything he really did better than Jay Gruden here? No. At least Jay Gruden had a quarterback for some time, right? <laughs> and then he didn't get a chance to find a quarterback, or at least he said he did, but then he goes out and try to bench him and stuff like that. So, man, I don't know. I, I just wanted to bring this video up here to try to let y'all hear what Jahan Dawson said and y'all leave y'all opinions. I, I'm so drained with, with talking about Ron. I can't wait for this game to be over on Sunday. So we no longer have to talk about Ronald Eugene Rivera. And I don't even dislike Ron as a person, but as a coach, he is no good.
All right, so with that being said, it's me and boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe. Hail to the Washington Commanders. One road to 7,000 subscribers, so we greatly appreciate it if you guys can help me get there as soon as possible. Also, this Sunday I will be live streaming um, the game. Obviously, it's going to be titled Round Rivera's Final Game, so come through for that. Uh, then next Saturday, I will be having my final live stream before I go off and, and, and endure my in real life journey. And then I'll be back, right? I'm not going to go nowhere, y'all. The, the channel's not over. I just got to go handle some business, right? Y'all know. So hopefully y'all stay along for that ride. Love each and every one of y'all. Y'all be safe, be easy, enjoy the weekend. Peace.